hello! Welcome to my office. I want to talk to you about the books that I want to read before fall wraps up. I think, is that November 30th? I don't know. I have no idea. But I, I've got I've got a little bit of time and I have about 10 books, I believe, that I want to talk to you about today. And let's just kick it off. First book I want to talk about, I have already started. And uh, that is Haunting Adeline. I also want to read Hunting. Adeline. I have put off reading this book for a very long time, or I, I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I've put it off. I just didn't want to read it. The content warnings for this book, I was like, you know what? No. Also the premise, it's about a girl falling in love with her stalker. I was like, I just don't, that's not going to work for me. I'm a fool. It is working for me so much. Oh my God. I started this book last night thinking I was just gonna dip my toe into this, you know, just be like, you know what, let's see, I it's spooky season. I'm in a dark romance mood. Let's finally give this bad boy a try. Um, cut to 4 a.m. and I am losing my mind. I, I don't know. I, I mean, there's, Pertaining to the romance, um, there's, I mean, there's stalking, there's dub con, there's non con, um, fear as a foreplay technique, um, stuff with guns that guns should not be used for. I don't, uh, outside of the romance, there's sex trafficking, there's child sacrifice. <laughs> This book is fucking crazy, but I am just, I'm eating it up like it's my last goddamn meal. I am currently obsessed with it. Time will tell. I'm only about like 50% through it, maybe a little bit less than that. This is a long book. It's like over 500 pages, I think. So we'll see. We'll see how I end up feeling. But right now, oh mama, hi. I'm questioning a lot of things about myself, but it's, it's, you know, it's the time, it's the time of the year to, to really get into some dark taboo topics. I mean, <laughs> every time is a good time for that, but like, you can really do it right now, you know? <laughs> okay, then I want to read, I'm nervous about this one. I want to read God of Malice by Rena Kent. I talked about this on my Instagram story the other day that I was starting it. I got about five pages in and I was like, I just don't know. I don't know if this is for me. I still don't know if it's for me. Uh, if you don't know, this is like a psychopath romance. You'd think that what I just talked about might also fall under that category. It doesn't. The hero in Haunting Adeline, he's not, I mean, as far as I know, no, he's not. He cares a lot about what he, you know, <laughs> he's not. In God of Malice, the hero, Killian, is a psychopath. And I, I like psychopaths or characters with psychopathic tendencies, but like with rose colored glasses on. So like Draco Malfoy in Manacled and uh, honestly Warner, Warner in Shatter Me has some tendencies there where they're like, you know, I, the world could burn. I don't care. I will murder. I'll do anything, but except for this person. Like this person is my everything. I will protect them with my dying breath. I love them. Like, you know, they are everything to me. And I maybe that happens in God of Malice, but I'm kind of getting the vibe that it's more like, this is my person that I can torture. No one else can torture her. Like I'll kill you if you do that, but I will do horrible things to her. Which is just, it's not really my vibe. I know, I know, we, ju we just talked about Haunting Adeline. It, it just feels different. But I'm, I'm saying a lot of things about a book that I, I really don't know much about. I've barely delved into it. They've just met. Um, but I'm very worried for our heroine. So, time will tell. Um, like, I just don't like it when the relationship is, like, mean. You know, if there's cruelty. Again, we're ignoring Haunting Adeline right now, because we'll talk about it in my October wrap-up, okay? Let's move on. Okay, I want I want to read that. We'll see how I feel about it. Then we have No Rest for the Wicked by Cressley Cole. Changing the tune here big time. This is uh, uh, a Mortals After Dark uh, book in the... My God, this is a this is the second book in the Immortals After Dark series by 
Cressley Cole. I read A Hunger Like No Other, I think last December. It was another one like Restore Me that I had read before and I had like forgotten that I had read all of it. And I know I didn't like it the first time, but the second time reading it, I was like, I like this. Uh, if you don't know, all of these books, I think, deal with, you know, they're the mate trope, but I'm pretty sure a lot of them are like two creatures, you know, from different, not creatures, but paranormal people but like from opposing sides essentially. So I don't know if there's like a vampire werewolf thing, but like you get like that type of thing and they're mates. So this one I believe is kind of like amazing race, but for paranormals and I think it's a vampire and a Valkyrie, maybe? I don't know. Really, I, I am so excited to read Lothair and Monroe because those are the two books that like everyone is always talking about when it comes to the series, but I want to read them in order. I think you have to. I don't actually know, but I, I want to read them in order. So I'm sure I'll find some gems along the way, but I'm really, I'm in it for those books. And I hope that I like them. Um, Cause I just love a redemption arc and I'm pretty sure that's like what Lothair is. Monroe, the premise just sounds like great, but okay, moving on. <laughs> then I've already talked about this book in my, all the books that I read so far this year video. Um, that is Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And yeah, I reread the first two books in the series uh, over the summer. And I started this one, but then life shit happened and I stopped, but I got like halfway through and loved it. I feel like there's a Kevin hair on my, or probably Finn. Finn? Fluff. He's just fluff. Like Kevin is like normal fur. Finn is just tufts of fuzz. Anyway. Uh, I really, I need to, I want to finish that. And I'm thinking about potentially doing a spoilery reading vlog because I've done it for the other two books in the series, but I just don't know if anyone would watch it. Um, and it's a lot of editing and, you know, having to look like relatively camera ready when I'm reading, which is usually not the case. You know, I usually look pretty rough when I'm reading. <laughs> so I guess let me know if you'd be interested in that, but we're gonna move on. Now we get to the part of, the t of my TBR that is all about a specific trope that I was really after reading. And it's, it's kind of messed up. I really, it's not just caretaking, okay? I, I love a good caretaking trope. This though is like when the heroine is so badly injured or, you know, captured or, you know, tortured and the hero goes fucking feral, like loses his mind. I wanted that. Um, you know, blood and ash, <laughs> crown of gilded bones, that type of shit. Uh, so I, you know, took my little fingers to my keyboard and uh, looked at some Reddit threads. And these are the wrecks that I took away from it. I'm pretty sure that one of these is like there was a specific Reddit thread where the request was for like specifically that the hero would be like trembling and shaking with his like pent up emotions and how much he cared for the heroine, uh, which, you know, we eat that shit up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go through these relatively fast because I don't know a whole lot about them and I kind of want to go in blind. So we've got The Winter King by C.L. Wilson. Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan, His Secret Illuminations by Scarlett Gale, and Obsessed by A.K. Evans. I'm, I think that Obsessed, it does, I don't think that this trope happens in the first book. It might, but I'm pretty sure that someone recommended like the third book in the series for this. And I'm like, well, I'm trying to be better about reading books in order when it comes to like, you know, they could be standalone, but you're going to get a better reading experience if you read them in order. So I'm going to start with the first one and we'll make our way through. Okay, then we've got some fan fiction, because of course we do. I really want to read The Disappearances of Draco Malfoy by Speechwriter. This one, uh, the setup is that it's when Draco has, he's cornered Dumbledore and he's about to kill him, but he hesitates. And in this version, there's some time before the Death Eaters show up. I don't know if they do end up showing up and still killing him. I, do, I don't know if Dumbledore lives in this. But in that little bit of time when Draco hesitates and before the Death Eaters show up, Dumbledore is able to convince Draco to fake his own death and join the Order. So, I mean, this is Dramine. I know, well, I don't know. I think that this is a, like a very slow burn. I also do know that this is mature, not explicit. So 
I don't think there's going to be smut, which is fine. We don't need smut and everything. I just want romance. I want some kissing. Um, but I think we're going to have to wait a while because I think that this is primarily more about like a redemption of Draco. I don't know, though. We'll see. Then we have From Wiltshire with Love by Mistress Lynn. Wiltshire? Wiltshire? Wiltshire. I'm pretty sure it's Wiltshire. Let me know. But this is uh, Draco spying for the Order of the Phoenix, and Hermione is his handler. Again, Hermione. I actually don't know if this is mature or explicit. I have no idea if they're smut. Time will tell. And then I really want to read some Mafia, too, but I don't have, like, specific books picked out. I'm thinking I'm either going to do the Brutal Birthright series by Sophie Lark. I think that's what it's called. I think the first book is Brutal Prince. Or I'm gonna go back to Mon the Queens and Monsters series <laughs> by JT Geisinger. I think, ugh, what's the first book? Ruthless Creatures, Carnal Urges, Savage Hearts. Don't know. I read the first two books of this series a while ago. Um, and I know I started the third one like later on and I, ha I was very confused as to what's going on. I think that it's like the sister of Sloane, who is the heroine in the second book, is what's going on in the third book. I don't know. But you know what? <laughs> Savage Hearts, if that is the third book, that might be the fourth book. I don't know. That popped up, popped up a lot on the Reddit threads for like, heroin is hurt and hero goes crazy. So I'm very excited about that. I'm probably going to end up reading that and, you know, rereading the first two, going into the third, having the time of my life. But that's going to do it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing extremely well. And I would really love to know what books are on your TBR for fall or for October, November, uh, spooky season, anything like that. If you have any recommendations, you know, I always love that. But yeah, I'd love to know what you're reading, what you're excited about reading, all that good stuff. Uh, but thank you again for watching. And I hope to see you at my next video. Goodbye.